Hey everybody, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today what I'm gonna walk you through is how you can change what appears on the preview when you're sharing your website on things like Facebook. And the same principle will apply to other social media channels like Twitter and so on, but it's just a tad different for those sites. So as an example, if you're going to Facebook and let's say in the Permaslug WordPress professionals group, I want to post a link to my website. I'm gonna use this sandbox demo install here as an example. This one is just a basic WordPress install with some simple oxygen stuff. And what you're looking at is just the home page. And what I want it to do is pull in this nice image, maybe this headline, but I want to be able to customize the description and so on that appears on Facebook. So if you take your link and you go try to pop it in, then you'll see all that I get is just the page title, which we definitely need to fix. It doesn't give a description and I also don't get that image that I want. And the reason why that's not happening is Facebook looks for what they call open graph data. So kind of like a page title, but it's basically Facebook's way of finding the information to pull into their preview window here. And then of course, what's gonna pop up when people share your website with comments, make posts like we're doing here and so on. So as another example, if I type in the permaslug.com preview, then you can see what it's supposed to do is pull in the image, which actually I should probably change this, and then uh, the page title and then the description here. So that's more along the lines of what you would actually expect for your site. You can do it kind of globally across your entire site, or you can do it on a per page and a per post basis, depending on what plugin you have. And what I also want to do is walk you through the sharing debugger tool on Facebook. So I always just Google Facebook social debugger and it brings you to this page. Basically, you just want that link you see up at the top, developers, Facebook, tools, debug, this one up here. And then you're basically just gonna take that same URL and you can just pop it in here and click on debug. And what it does is tell you what it can find for you. So one thing that's kind of cool is in time, you can see how many likes, comments, and shares that particular URL has, which is kind of neat. But then down here, this OG stuff, this is what I was talking about just a moment ago, which is OG for open graph. Now the OG URL, that's just gonna be your site URL. You can configure the title, the description. There's a ton of other open graph tags that you can use, but the main ones are gonna be description, title, and then also your image, which it doesn't actually have, but when you have the image set, then it's gonna pop up in right here. So we're gonna fix all of that, and then we'll come back to this social debugger tool and go from there. So again, I want this image, which is actually the featured image of this particular page to be the one that pops up in Facebook. And then I wanna configure the page title and the description. Let me take a note real quick of what this says. So our description says travel dates back to antiquity. So let's take, it's actually just pulling the first bit of content here, which is actually okay, but I don't want that. Let's make it something like, actually I'll just come up with something. So what we're gonna do is go back over here to our WordPress install. And really all that you need for this is any decent SEO plugin. So like Yoast or whatever you use is gonna be perfectly fine as long as it can help you take advantage of Open Graph and configure the page title and so on, specifically for Open Graph as compared to just a regular page and post. So I'm gonna add the plugin called Smart Crawl from WP MuDev. I think that's how you say it. I know lots of people aren't a fan of their stuff, but I personally am. So I'm just gonna pop in Smart Crawl. It just works perfectly fine and it's super easy to use. So now what I'm gonna do is go down here to Smart Crawl. I'm gonna to go to the Social tab real quick. And then what we're going to do is enable Open Graph. So that's all you have to do to actually get that to pop up. So we're gonna save that setting. And then we're gonna go over here to the Title and Meta area. So you can see these are the different options here. So typically I go configure all the settings on the homepage itself, but you can actually do it from this screen here. For an example though, you also have every post type across your site. So we have the regular posts here. You have your pages, media, and then templates. And what's cool about this is by default, of course, it's gonna have kind of this standard layout for you. So it's gonna take the post title, have a separator of your choice. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Separator of your choice, which is that vertical line, and then your site name. But you can change this, and there's all kinds of other options here for you. So if you want the page and post ID, you can set dates and times, author name, all this kind of stuff here. These are all the default variables that you can toss into the page title and also the description here, which is pretty neat. Now more along the lines of what we care about is Open Graph though. So this is what we just turned on a moment ago and you can turn it on on a page and post basis, but it's better just to have it on across your whole site. Now what you're gonna find is it basically just replicates exactly what you have in this title up here. So you don't actually have to do it twice. If I make a change up here to this page title, it's also gonna be reflected down there. So just as an example, if I delete this and then go down here and save real quick. 
then when we come back, you can see the open graph has changed. So you don't have to do this twice, you just basically need to do it once. So I'm gonna put that back actually. There's our site name tag back in there. And now what you'll notice is this says, if no feature or custom image is added, then it's gonna use the first image in the page content, which can actually be cool as a backup if you forget. Now what's gonna happen is any page or post that has a featured image is now going to be the one that pops up in your Facebook social debugger and also when you're pasting the link into Facebook. Now keep in mind, of course, we have been looking at the posts, post type. This is also true for any pages across your site as well. The same thing is gonna be true here. But what you can also do is go back to the home page, which of course is the one we were working with just a moment ago. And down here you can say, each of these images will be available to use as the featured image when the post is shared, which is pretty sweet. So before we actually edit that, now that we have Smart Crawl turned on and Open Graph enabled, let's just go back over here to our social debugger and see what changes here. So we just need to go ahead and hit this scrape again button. And now we actually have a different result here. So our page title, which in this case is just home, actually pops in. And then you can see that image, which is the featured image of our page is pulling in there. So this is pulling in the first sentence of the page content, which is perfectly fine. But now you can see there's a bit more info down here. So you have your OG description in there, and then you also have your title, which is pretty sweet. You can take this a bit further though, because you probably wouldn't wanna have your page title and the preview just say home. So what we're gonna do is jump back over to our home page here and we're just gonna edit that. Again, like I mentioned, we have the featured image, which is what's pulling in there. Now you don't need to edit the actual page title here, which I know some people would do if you don't have an SEO plugin installed, but all you actually have to do is drop down here to the smart crawl setting. Most SEO plugins are just like this, so you don't have to enable anything typically. And all you need to do is go ahead and hit this edit meta button. So let's say something like, I love to travel all over, join me in hearing my stories. This is a terrible page title. You would never use this, but just as an example. So we have something available for us. And then for our description, we're gonna say, I travel the world and take photos so you don't have to. Okay, so now this should change in our Facebook preview once we click on update. We gotta go back to the sharing debugger again and hit scrape. So there we go, now our preview has changed. So we have that first sentence, which is terrible, and then our second sentence there. But just wanna demonstrate here what's changing. So you can see the title tag has updated and the description has updated as well. So I'm gonna go back over here real quick and just for the sake of example, let's remove this featured image and let's just toss in uh, like this one of the airplane wing here. We're gonna update that. And then as long as you don't have caching or anything like that enabled on your website, any server side like heavy caching, then this should pop up pretty much instantly. But if it doesn't, just clear your cache and it should work. There we go. So now our link preview has changed to the image of the airplane wing, which is super cool. So you can see how easy it is. We enabled one free plugin, turned on a couple of settings, tweaked a few things, and we're already off to the races. So now let's actually take a look at what that looks like on a real Facebook post go back to Facebook, and then you're definitely gonna have to refresh the whole page here. So if you already had your link pasted in, go ahead and delete that and refresh the page entirely. And then once you paste the link in, now you can see everything that we just did is applicable inside of Facebook, and your users are gonna see this inside of Facebook, which is cool. So there's our page title, our description, and then also the new image there, which is really cool. Now the other benefit of this is that this preview is gonna pop up anywhere your link is shared across Facebook. So whether it's a comment or an actual post, whether you post it or not, which is super cool. And it's more or less automatic because of what we've turned on. As long as you have a title on your post, you have a description and effectively an excerpt that you want, then a featured image set, this is going to take place for you automatically. So open graph is turned on. Facebook is gonna pick that up even for brand new URLs, which is cool. And so you effectively don't have to worry about it. If you ever run into a challenge where you're having an issue with something appearing properly on Facebook, the sharing debugger tool is definitely the way to go figure out what Facebook is actually seeing. And you can just play with this in real time. You can keep scraping it until you get exactly what you want and make your site look nice and pretty on Facebook. Hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.